There I'm able to block that Raylin snipe. Oh, and just tear her apart. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to a series that has not been seen, unfortunately, in quite some time. That is awesome knots. We're playing a bot match today with uh, the new character Deadlift, who is a really good tank and supporter. He has a, a shield that can protect his allies, and then he also has a leap, which does some pretty good damage to enemies. Overall, I like him a lot, um, and he's got some, some really good healing as well. So I'm gonna hop in here, try and protect my gnaw. Well, he ran away, but that's okay. I'll take the kill on the froggy. These bots are dumb, but I don't mind that gun too much. So uh, you can increase the speed and the damage of the uh, main punch, and then I like to add some power in there. There's also uh, an ability which lets you string together hits in order to increase the damage even more. So maybe instead of going for more speed, you could go for um, doubling up on the power or something like that. But definitely healing is one that you want to keep in there. Um, as far as the shield, I like to decrease the DK. Um, you can also slow enemy awesome knots, increase the speed of allied awesome knots, um, have a heal when the shield breaks, and then you can also uh, have a move that combines combines the shield and the lunge in order to uh, have another little burst of damage. Jeez, we're punching up really good over here. <laughs> the leap, I definitely like to decrease the cooldown and then uh, increase the, the range of it. The range is a little bit small to start with, but when you increase the range, you'll uh, find yourself able to navigate across the map exceedingly quickly. And there's the killing spree. Awesome. That deadlift. Let me tell you what, he's also got some pretty good range on those punches. I really, really like this character a lot, and uh, he's free to play is one of the best things. You don't need to have any of the expansions in order to enjoy Mr. Deadlift. So, uh, you know, I won't have any people going, oh, pay to win, motherfucker, blah, blah, blah. You, you just jump in there and you own with Deadlift. Um, a couple of things also have changed with Awesome Knots which is kind of interesting. Assists are now a thing, which you would see if uh, I had any human players on my team, unfortunately. I do not. Um, living in the Philippines, not too many people play Awesome Knots, which really, really sucks. Um, it's super hard to find a match, but that's okay. They're demonstrating my uh, power lunge just a little bit more, and there's a double kill. Yeah. Ooh, triple kill. <laughs> Deadlift is just a fucking wrecking ball. And then uh, the fact that he can heal himself up, shield his teammates, just extremely, extremely devastating. Quite a tank. Um, I used to play with Clunk a whole lot uh, because of his large health total, but I think Deadlift is going to replace him as far as uh, picking a tank character goes. There I'm able to block that Raylin snipe. Oh, and just tear her apart. Absolutely fucking amazing. Um, we haven't seen a Bovinian character, which is pretty cool. I really like how they have, like, the different races and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, Lone Star is, um, the, the nemesis of Deadlift, I do suppose. Because Lone Star wrangles those Bovinians, and Deadlift talks a lot in the, uh, in the game about how he's not gonna get wrangled by Lone Star. So, um, I think it's really, really cool that we're finally able to see a Bovinian after, um, yeah, hearing about it from Lone Star, but never actually seeing one. So, um, I'm super excited for Deadlift, as you can probably tell. I really like the, the design of him. He's got, like, one holographic arm, or, like, cybernetic arm, and then, uh, one cybernetic horn. Holographic horn? Something like that. Now I'm blocked in here by the Spree, so this is probably not gonna be good. Let me, let me go! Okay. We're gonna try and assist the gnaw here just a little bit and uh, get back to base. There we go. Easily done. <laughs> and I did grab that health health ball, which I probably didn't need so much. But uh, nine kills. We are we got that legendary spree going, which is super super nice. And uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I know I can shut down the bots, but um, the question is, how hard are you going to shut them down? You know, sometimes I have a game that's like, uh, five kills, something like that. 
But um, yeah, we're doing exceedingly well with Deadlift. I probably played two games with him before sitting down to do this, and I find him really intuitive. I think it's super nice. And there I'm uh, shielding the Lone Star from getting killed by Scree, and also finishing the Scree for myself with the Power Lunge. His moves just go together really, really well. And um, increasing the damage on the Power Lunge makes it extremely damaging. And um, yeah, I love that shield. Reduce the decay of it, and uh, it'll be even more useful. Lasts for a little bit longer. But yeah, in a bot match, we're probably not going to get a full build going. I will continue trying to uh, to get the uh, the matches going, but it's just, yeah, really, really hard. <laughs> There's nobody playing. There's the new Voltar Galactron, or whatever it's called, which um, is supposed to match you up next to people that are in your region, but there are not many people in my region at all. That was a really nice dive bomb on the screen, and uh, I'm able to just stick against the Raylin. Absorb some damage for the droids, and we are gonna fucking bring this turret down. I can take a little bit of damage, no problem. Yeah, the mighty mighty deadlift. I really like his character too. He, he reminds me a bit of uh, Ted McPain or something like that, but um, he's really got uh, a style all his own as far as the the fighting goes. And there, I was able to absorb another Raylin snipe. Really, really excited for this character. And to, uh, to see it in a full-blown match, which I have not been able to do for either him or Max Focus. But um, we will eventually. I can promise you that. I apologize for lack of updates on Awesome Knots. But <sighs> doing the best I can with keeping the content flowing and uh, keeping all the subscribers happy. And keeping myself happy as well. <laughs> so anyways, I think this is going to be the end. I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you do remember to like, comment, and or subscribe, I'll send you a cup of coffee, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy that. Until the next time, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.